Hi guys, it's Kat. Today I'm going to show you how I customized this art studio kit from Gearbest.com. It's called the Best of Times and has everything you need to build the entire room box. I customized it quite a bit to fit my style, but you can definitely build it according to the included directions. I love how modern this kit looks and it even lights up. Let's get started. First, I'll unbox this kit to show you what it contains. It comes with a music box, a big bag of accessories, and the MDF panels that make up the structure of the room. There is also paperwork for the directions and colorful printouts. Let me first show you the accessories bag. It contains fabric, foliage and beads, a lighting kit, a bunch of wooden pieces, this wrap statue, and a big window pane. The sculpture itself looks like a bust of Michelangelo's David. It's really beautiful, but a bit too big in scale for this kit, so I won't be using it. The instruction booklet is in Chinese, but you can always use my Google Translate app tip to get around it. Otherwise, it's nicely printed in color. The rest of the paperwork is for the flooring, wallpaper, and accessories. The included panels are three sheets of acrylic plastic for the dust cover, the walls, and the floor. Let's work on the floor first. As I mentioned, the kit comes with a printed flooring image you can glue on, but I'll make a real wooden floor with some coffee stairs. These are the perfect size for miniature flooring and super simple to install. I just glue them on with wood glue, making sure to stagger each row. It takes quite a while to do, but the results are so worth it. Trim off any excess wood with a utility knife. For a modern look, I'm creating a gray stain with neutral gray acrylic paint. Mix that with some water and you have a very simple stain. Brush it onto the wood in thin layers until you achieve the color that you like. I did about three coats to get this color. Then for some gloss and protection, I add on a few coats of polyacrylic varnish. For the walls, take these two panels. The kit gives you floor and wallpaper, but I'll use regular matte acrylic paint to paint it white. Two coats is enough for even coverage. Before we can put the walls up, we first need to install the windows. Open up the ziplock with all the wooden pieces and spill it out. I like to organize everything by color. Grab all the light brown window pieces. To match the walls, I'll paint these white. Black is also a really nice option. Once that's dry, fit them into place on the big wall. Now you can install the two walls on the back and left side of your kit. I use wood glue again here. The kit also comes with this additional gray piece to put over the windows for architectural detail, but I'll save that for later. The kit comes with these pieces for a bed, but I didn't want a bed in my art studio, so I'll repurpose these for something else. Using the rectangular bed base piece, I'll make a work table. For the table legs, grab these two rectangular round pieces. They're supposed to be art trays. Also take the two legs from the blue side table, and these two legs from the tiny stand. Form those pieces into this shape. Make two of these. Then I paint them black for an industrial look. Glue one to each side of the table. Once that's dry, you have a super simple workstation. To go with the table, we need a chair. The kit comes with these yellow pieces for the chair. It's really simple to assemble. Instead of following the instructions and gluing on the four legs, I'll use something else for the bottom. This pink piece is meant to be the base of a lamp, but I think it's the perfect bottom for this chair. Before we attach it, let's first paint the pieces. I paint the chair a light brown. For the base, first cut a tiny length of this thin stick. Glue it to the side of the pink piece, creating the look of an adjustable height lever. And then paint the entire base black. Glue the base to the chair. And then glue the whole chair into the room. Next up is the easel. The easel is super simple to assemble using the instructions. The only change I made here was to add a hinge to the back leg. This is definitely not necessary and you can just glue the back leg on. Place the easel on the right side of the room. The kit comes with this tiny wood panel for a framed picture. I just paint it white to look like canvas and plop it onto the easel. Inside the fabric bag is a surprising accessory. Wrapped inside all the plastic is this beautiful golden frame with all this detail. I place this right behind the chair to look like it's ready for whatever masterpiece is being created on the easel. 
Before we keep going, let's add in the music box. Simply position the music box in front of the hole on the left side wall. Use the included screws to attach it on. Lastly, add on the handle. To hide the music box, take these pastel green pieces and assemble them into a cabinet of drawers. The drawers are not real and the back is hollow to allow room for the music box. I painted white to match the room. After I built it, I really didn't like how it turned out, so instead I'll make a vintage apothecary inspired cabinet. For that, I'll need a jumbo and a giant popsicle stick. From the giant stick, cut out two two and a quarter inch sections. Glue them together lengthwise to create a panel. Cut out two two and a half inch sections for the sides and one more for the top. Glue on the sides, and then the top. For the drawer front, take the jumbo popsicle stick and split it in half. Then make markings every half an inch and cut them out. We need a total of 16 tiny squares. Glue these on making sure to space them out carefully. For a stain, I mix dark brown acrylic paint and water. Just like for the floor, I apply thin coats until I reach the desired color. Again, you can choose to use the cabinet that came with the kit because it's still very pretty, but I think the vintage one matches the style I'm going for. For some shelving, I'll take these two strips from what was supposed to be the bed, paint them white. Before I glue them onto the wall, let's add some color to one of them. Take a thin skewer and cut out a bunch of 1 3rd inch sections. Stand them up and paint each one a different color. Once they're dry, glue them to one of the shells. Then glue the shelves to the wall. It's finally starting to look like a real art studio. The kit comes with these wooden frames for a picture gallery, but I'll keep these as they are to mimic the look of canvas stretcher bars. Glue them to the table. I also glue on the tiny paint tray that I made in a previous video. Then add some paintings to the shelves and cabinet. I also made these in a previous video, so make sure to check those out. The links to those tutorials are in the info box below. Add some more accessories and paint to really make the space come alive. Remember this big gray piece from earlier? Let's turn that into the ceiling. First, paint it dark brown. When that's dry, glue to the top of the room with wood glue. For the lighting, the kit comes with some tape, a battery pack, an extension wire, and some bulbs. There are three bulbs in this kit, but we'll only need two. To make some pendant lights, I take this 24 gauge jewelry wire and cut out two 7 inch segments. Fold one in half and loop it around the base of the bulb. Then intertwine the electrical wires with the jewelry wire. The metal wire helps keep the softer wire straight and taut. Do this for both bulbs. For the pendants themselves, take the cup shaped beads from bag C. I use metallic silver spray paint to cover the plastic. Glue a bulb inside the top of the pendant. Once that's dry, paint the wires with black nail polish. To install them, first take the two metallic beads and glue them right under the holes in the ceiling. Loop the bulb wires through and pull them up. Glue the remaining wire flat against the ceiling beams. For extra ceiling support, I take a square down and cut out a six and a half inch length. Paint it brown and glue it to the right corner of the ceiling. Almost done guys. 
To set up the electrical, take the white extension wire from the lighting kit and cut it into four equal pieces. Score the ends and pull the plastic coating off to expose the wire. Attach one to each side of the wires for our two pendant lights. This just makes the wires long enough so they can touch each other. Connect the two white wires together and the two gray wires together. Then connect the white bundle to the red wire on a battery pack and a gray bundle to the black wire on a battery pack. Just flip the switch and your pendant lights are fully functional. To finish it off, paint the wires above the beams brown to camouflage them. This last part is optional but highly recommended. The kit comes with three acrylic sheets for a dust cover. Peel the paper and plastic coating off the sides to expose the crystal clear plastic. You can glue them right onto the room or make it removable. I use Gemtac glue because it works great with plastic and dries completely clear. That's it guys, the miniature art studio is all done. I love how this turned out and it was so much fun to make. This kit is super simple to put together and it only took me two days to complete it. Of course, the timing will depend on how much or how little detail you like. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.